Hello, Gail here. Going on to Is Hell on Earth? And going into part four, I believe. I keep getting cut off on my Android phone. So I'm going to see how long my computer will make a video before I get cut off. And if this doesn't work, then maybe I will be buying a new phone that um, allows more time to make videos. But the last one I got cut off at um, talking about this, or the brother that made a video called um, We're in Hell, and instead of going into all the details of what his beliefs are and his teachings, you can search that on YouTube to find out and move on here about hell and um, trying to figure out exactly what it is and if we're there. And I know through um, Christian beliefs or in the Bible it mentions you know hell as uh, the grave, Sheol, Gehenna, the place of the dead and we know that from the time that we're born that we're dying every day or drawing near to death every day and many of us are already considered dead we're in this physical body that deteriorates from the time that it gets here until it's no longer you know, are are we dead already? Are we in hell already? Is this body the grave? Is this body, this physical body, Sheol, Gehenna, is it a prison where all there is is suffering and, um, you know, give me your thoughts, comment. It's pretty funny, I'm wearing red, not that I planned it, but according to a lot of people on the internet, they teach about the chakras, the, the root chakra, which is in your base, down by your pelvic, retropelvic. Um, red is the color to the root chakra, which represents the underground, the phys physical place, the survival mechanism or part of us that uh, seeks to survive and does anything to survive and the animal instinct or the limited beast or animal and but um, the subject of health can be pretty interesting and I mean what you think about it you know what what's your perception or have you even thought about it you know and I know there's all kinds of views coming from different religions and um, different belief systems traditions or consciousness or Give me your feedback on this, and I'm going to stop right here, because at this point right now, I'm getting tired, and um, don't really know what else to say right now, but peace out here. Think about that. Give me your feedback. You have a good night. We'll see you next time. Love to you, precious souls, and let's get through this together and figure it out. Love you guys. Namaste.